Hello y'all, welcome back. In today's video, I have a pretty huge collective thrifted Christmas haul to share with you. I've been shopping for Christmas Eve things um, since probably the beginning of September and I've been setting it aside so that I could film one big giant haul. I literally have two storage bins filled with sacks and full of stuff. So I'm just gonna start pulling them out. So he's right on top, we'll start with him. I found this cute snowman. Um, I don't know how to explain what he's made out of. It's kind of like faux snow. Faux snow they set down on the bottom of like little villages. But he's really cute. Um, I'm not too sure on a year because he does have a sticker on the bottom with a barcode. So who knows if he's vintage or not. But I do have this listed on my eBay. And I just thought he was too cute. I Originally when I bought him, I was planning on doing a more vintage themed Christmas and then I went to Hobby Lobby and fell in love with all of the modern like farmhouse decor so I've switched to that. So that is why I'm listing him on eBay, otherwise I was going to use him here. But he's really cute and well made. He has like stickers on his eyes and then a pom-pom nose, or actually it's a felt nose. He's just really cute, really cute details. He's holding a little bird. So if you're interested in this, it will be listed on my eBay, which will be linked down below. So I found these at separate times, at separate Goodwills. I found this one first and it was 89 cents and I just really love holly berry and like the look of it. And I'm trying to use a lot of that in my Christmas decor this year. And then a few weeks later, I found this one at a different Goodwill and it was 99 cents, but it is in much better condition. Not like they would know that, but um, the rim of this one has like some gold on the top. And then this one's really dirty, it needs to be cleaned, and then the rim is actually pretty faded. But I thought these would be cute for Garrett and I to drink maybe like coffee out of or something, or to set out on my Keurig for decoration. I just really liked them, and I like that they're glass. They're just good glass mugs. They say made in USA on the bottom. And then this is another cute piece that was like vintage-y looking. Um, I have this listed on eBay as well, just because since then I've decided to not do vintage. But it's this tin, it's like a platter. And the back says, Made in Hong Kong for Bradford Novelty Co. Boston, Massachusetts. And as you can see, it was 99 cents. I think it's really pretty. I love the design on it. And I just think the colors are like really vibrant and pretty. It does have some wear, like in this area. There's like a dent, um, some scratches, but I thought it was really pretty. So I decided to bring it home. I found a pack of these icicle lights. This says by the brand Holly Brights. I think they were sold at Garden Ridge Pottery. Yes, the back says Garden Ridge. I remember going to Garden Ridge when I was younger. I don't think we have them here anymore. I don't know if they closed down or what, but it says made in Taiwan, so um, maybe slightly vintage. But I also have these listed on my eBay as well. This isn't a reseller haul. I don't know why. I don't want it to come off that way. I intended to use these things here at my house, but like I said, I bought a lot of it in September or starting in September, so I have since changed my mind. I paid $2.99 for these. Let me open them up and show you. They're just cute icicle lights. Um, I checked them in the store and they do work, so. I haven't looked in these bags since the day that I brought them home, so it's kind of like seeing them for the first time all over again. I grabbed these and I remember that they were 75% off. Yeah, 75% off um, or else I was Probably just gonna leave them behind, but I thought they were just kind of cute little decorative pieces to stick in a vignette or just to add to the shelf. And they were actually originally sold at the antique gallery. Um, they were $8 a piece, so I'm assuming they were handmade for somebody's booth. But they are still cute. I like the pops of red and I love music sheets, so they were originally $1.99. I found these really pretty red Christmas ornaments. I actually have a few boxes of ornaments that you'll see throughout this haul, but I like these because I loved the color red they were, like the shade of red, and they're actually like a really flat matte. So I like that a lot. I'm gonna put these on my tree. They were $1.99. And this is how they came, so I don't know anything about the maker or anything like that. And then I grabbed this pack at the same time as those red ones. These were $1.99 as well. And I like them because they are glass. I probably won't use the green unless I kind of just toss them in a jar or set them in something. But as far as my tree, I'll probably just stick with neutrals and reds and whites. Um, but yeah, I really like the glass ornaments. And then I like when they start to show 
like patina as you can see on there like there's some discoloration i really like that almost like a mercury glass look but i'm not necessarily into mercury glass but i do like the way that looks so yeah these were like i said 1.99 at goodwill so i've mentioned a few times now that in my kitchen and dining room area it's kind of like one long situation um i'm gonna be doing a gingerbread and baking theme or bakery theme so i wanted to thrift as many pieces as i could for that so I found this really cute, like, single, um, I guess cake tin, but it's in the shape of a candy cane, and it was $1.99, but I'm pretty sure I remember this one being on some sort of discount, and I wish they had more, because I think it'd actually be fun to use these for making little candy cane-shaped cakes, but there was only one, so I'll probably just set this up on a shelf somewhere in the kitchen. And then I found this little bag of, there's like three or four cookie cutters. I don't remember how much this was, and the tag is, has fallen off. I imagine I didn't pay more for a dollar for three of these, probably less, but. So there's this bigger tree, a smaller medium sized tree, and then a tiny little one. I love this one, it's so cute. And then a little gingerbread man. So I thought all four of these would go perfect for the theme I'm going for. This, came from just like a thrift store we have. Um, I paid a dollar for this, yes, a dollar. And it's just a Santa mug. I don't think he's terribly vintage, though he does have that look. If you watch my flea market video from a couple of days ago, he kind of looks similar to that. Um, but he has a barcode tag on the bottom, so who knows what he is actually from. Um, but yeah, his face has some wear. Like I think his mouth, yeah, his mouth is messed up and had I found the Santa mugs that I found in my flea market video, I probably would have passed him up. But for a dollar, he's pretty cute, so I'll find something to do with him. And I have a few more bags of some glass ornaments. These were a dollar for seven of them, and they're this really pretty, like, shiny red color. And then I really love these, but one of them got broken. They're these silver ones, and there's, like, a frosted silver or like I don't really know what you would call this. They're all glass as well but as you can see this one got broken and this one was 150 I don't remember. This thrift store they have like the colors that are 50 or 75% off for that week so um, they very well could have been on sale but I still love them regardless. I'll probably stick these in like a little bowl or inside something. I forgot that this was in here. It's not Christmassy at all but I suppose it could be if I displayed it this way. This is a Lord Taylor hat box. I just thought it was really pretty with that rose on it. So I may just use this side of it for Christmas and then cover up the top. But if you watch my vintage hauls, you know that I love hat boxes and I have a collection of them. So that will probably go in there. And then I've actually found a good amount of fake trees, like little Christmas trees while thrifting. So I found this one, I believe at Goodwill. No, at that little thrift store, it was $4. And it's a pretty good size. Like this is probably like three feet. No, this is two foot. I don't know, but it has the burlap on the bottom and it's very heavy and weighted and I just really liked it because I'm also trying to keep winter decor in mind as well. So with this not being flocked, I think this could easily transition into some of my winter decor as well. And I just think it's cool. Like the branches don't have that like really cheesy fake look in my opinion. So for $4, I thought that was a really good price because it would be much more at Hobby Lobby. I wish you could feel how heavy this is. So I'll just go ahead and share all the little trees that I got. I found these at Goodwill for $1.99. Um, yeah, but they're just tiny little mini ones that you would see at like Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Spot. I haven't seen many fake trees at the Dollar Spot this year that I liked. So I'm trying to think like would I have saved money if I just waited, but I don't really think. But I decided to get them anyways and I did get three of these. So I'm going to be set on the fake trees this year. And then I also found these at... Just a random thrift store. They were $3 a piece, but they're these little, oops, some leaves are falling off or branches. I think these are called swags, unless that's this way. I don't know, but they're meant to hang. Whoa. They're meant to hang this way, and I have a place that I want to put them, but going back to what I said about the winter decor and like transitional pieces, for Christmas I plan on adding some like festive holly berry picks in the center and then I'm going to take them off and leave them up for winter. So I thought that was a really good deal, $3. They're not that like crappy greenery that they sell at Dollar Tree. It's um, kind of like, it almost looks and feels really real and then they have little pine cones on them as well.
All right, and then I found this. And this is going to go on my eBay as well. I haven't listed it yet, but I paid $3.93 for this. And I just couldn't stand to see it get, like, crushed and tossed aside or possibly go to the landfill. So I thought I could resell it. And it is in the package, but it's been opened right here, I guess, so they could check if it worked. I did plug it in when I got it home, and it does light up. But it hooks onto your window seal, I guess, right here. It's hard to see because there's a glare, but he's just cute. Um, let me show you up close. He has like a pink face, which is kind of funny, but maybe it looks good when it's lit up. I don't know, but it looks like he was originally $7.99, and he looks very 80s to me, so maybe that's when he's from, but what do I know? I actually found this at an estate sale a while back um, for $1, but it's this Christmas music book, and it is falling apart. They have it like taped together right here, which is fine, but I'm either going to... I don't know, I have a hard time because since it is falling apart, I'm thinking why don't you just repurpose some of the pages or use them in crafting and stuff like that. But then I don't want to rip it up, you know? Like look how cute this is. The most adorable little Christmas angels. And I just love the illustrations. I think they're so pretty. Once again, that vintage Christmas look really, really gets me. And then the inside is beautiful as well. It's in black and white. Like, this would look so good in a frame for Christmas. I 100% forgot about this, and I need to hurry up and DIY it because I'm filming this on the 29th, and I'm putting my decor up on the 1st, or starting to. So I really need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I did something similar in a recent thrift flip video, so I'll probably just stain this one and set it up for decor or um, dry brush some white on it. I found a little baggie of crafting bits. I loved these little wreaths and you can get them at Hobby Lobby or the dollar spot but you get much less and I paid a dollar for this whole bag and I've since then used one or two of them. So I thought that was a good deal and I shouldn't leave them there so really cute to even add to Christmas presents. And then I found this amazing little enamelware piece. I did pay $7.50 for this but um, I looked them up on eBay before purchasing it and I think they go for about double that. But I liked it and I want to use it in my Christmas decor. I think it'll look really cute with a bottle brush tree sticking out of it. So that's what my vision is for this. But it has some really great like rusting and wear on it. I just think it's really cool. I don't necessarily know what this was used for. But you guys always let me know down below what things are for. So I appreciate that. I got this also for the baking theme or bakery theme. It's just a tiny little... Um, cupcake tin. This was 79 cents. I liked the galvanized look of this one and it's not like just like a shiny bright metal. And then I found this adorable lampshade. I have mentioned in previous videos that I'm doing a red and white stripe theme in like the living room area in the main part of the house and I thought this would match nicely with that and I wanted to stick it on my little um, like hobnail milk glass lamp here i'll grab it and i'll show you what it's gonna look like so it'll look like this on here i think that's really cute and i'm probably gonna put it on that little table in my kitchen where i store the dog stuff but i have kind of like a lot of different mixes of reds going so i hope i can make it work i've got some cute little things here this was at goodwill it's one of those like unfinished little pieces that you can go and paint there is stuff all over here and I just thought he was cute. I'm going to leave him as is. Um, he does have like a little scratch on his, or scuff on his nose. But I may just paint it white, or I'll probably just leave it, let's be honest. But it was 79 cents, and I thought it was just a nice neutral little piece. And then I got this for, I'm pretty sure this one was on sale when I bought it. Just a little wooden sled that I'm going to paint up and put on the tree, probably. I found a red handled rolling pin, which I was super excited about. So I'm excited to use this. How many times can I say I'm excited? I can't wait to use this in the kitchen. Um, they did write on it in like that little kind of red colored pencil. So I don't know how I'm going to get that out because it's kind of stuck on the wood. I already tried. But it was $2.92 and I think that's a really good deal because normally even at Goodwill, rolling pins are at least $5. So um, it is, I do wish it was a little distressed like those antique ones you see, but... Well, I can't be picky, like what am I saying? This is something that I completely forgot about. It is a little pick um, with some holly berry on it. I think it's really beautiful. It's probably from Walmart or something originally, but it goes perfect with the other picks that I've already bought. So that is cool. It was 99 cents, which is a great deal. It would probably be about 190 at Walmart. I don't know why I'm talking like I'm some sort of expert on these things. 
Anyways, I liked the flocked. It's like slightly flocked, not completely. My camera is saying that the internal temperature is hot, so I gotta hurry. These next two pieces I actually got at a garage sale. I found this really pretty Christmas apron. It was $1. And you guys, I can't wait to bake something or cook something in this. I wish I could show you what it looks like, but I have plans for an upcoming video, so you should be able to see it then. But it has these really pretty red bows. And then the green, I'm not doing much green, but I still like it a lot. I think I'm going to hang it off the peg rack in my kitchen. And it's going to look so cute. It's definitely vintage. Did I say it was a dollar? It was a dollar. And then I like how the end is like kind of scalloped a bit. So cute. And then at that garage sale as well, I, they had this like book here. It says Think Christmas. And what's cool about it is the front half has a ton of like DIY Christmas crafts and projects you can do and there's just pages filled with different projects and it gives you like um, the supply list and then instructions and then the back half is actually recipes like Christmas dinners, cookies, pies, all kinds of stuff. So I'm thinking in December I want to do a video where I choose one craft and one recipe out of this book and I'll film it and see how it turns out. I think I paid less than a dollar for this but look, inside it's so cute. This has like gift ideas that you can give people, like things you can make to give people. It's just such a cool book. I've never seen anything like this before, so um, yeah. I only found a couple of gingerbread themed things for my kitchen. Um, so I found this little wooden piece here and I think she's so adorable. It was $1.99. I am gonna take this bow off just because it doesn't match and it's just a little dingy. I'm gonna replace it with a red and white striped bow. But I think this is so cute and maybe I'll put her on my tiered tray or since she has this like wire piece I can hang her from something. And then this one's much brighter. I think it's cute. I don't know what it's for. It has these little holes in it here. So maybe to hold, um, what do you call them? <laughs> utensils? Like cooking utensils? I'm not sure. It was 99 cents. But yeah, if you know what is meant to go in here, let me know. It's probably something really obvious. And I'm going to think about it when I'm editing or when you tell me, I'm going to be like, duh. But she has a really cute face, much cuter than the other one I just showed. And I just love gingerbread men and women. They're so cute. Gingerbread men and women. <laughs> and then when I saw this, I almost died because it's gingerbread and baking themed. So it's perfect. It is a gingerbread... Why can't I think of the name of this right now? I've said it like 30 times already in this video. Anyways, it's this. And it was $1.99 and I love everything about it. The back says, I don't know if it's gonna focus. $19.95, I think like Milton, no, Wilton Enterprises made in Indonesia. And I think it's lovely. I could either display it this way with the guys like sticking out so you can see their details better or this way. These are one of the first things I grabbed. Um, I'm not sure if it's a good deal or not. They were $1.99. Well, I guess they were originally $5.99. So I got them for $1.99 at Goodwill. And it just has a bunch of different bags. There's like a Santa, Joy. This one's really cute. And then a bunch of little ones. It's got that kind of like rustic Christmas vibe. So with this being the first year that I'm doing a traditional Christmas, I'm having to buy like a ton of stuff to stock up on. And I obviously didn't have any stockings yet. So I saw these at Goodwill. Brand new, still with the tags. They were $1.99 a piece. And I love this red color. Once again, with the like mix of reds, I hope I can make this all work out. Cause I have a lot of bright reds and then like a deeper red, almost like a burgundy. But they're velvet on the bottom. And then they have this like kind of pattern up here, this diamond kind of pattern. And I think they're really nice. I found this big giant ornament. It was only 49 cents and I thought it would look um, cute. Just kind of resting on something on the shelf. Just to add two things, but I like the little snowflakes. Has some glitter on there too, if you can tell. And another kind of Santa mug. This isn't a mug. This actually had a candle in it, and I cleaned it out. But I went to a Goodwill pretty far away that I've never been to before, and everything was 75% off everything. I'm not sure why. So I don't even know the original price of this, but it was probably just some change. And I think they're selling similar ones at Dollar Tree this year. Um, I'm not too crazy about him, so I may or may not use it but it was really cheap, so. I found this piece for $2.99, and I think this is probably some sort of like summer collection, um, but I thought it would look nice in the kitchen with my Christmas decor. It's just shaped like a, I think, mason jar maybe. 
And there was a much bigger one that I left behind. Um, I just don't have room for it. So I thought I would just get this little one. I'm that person that buys one thing out of the set and then ruins it for everybody else. I'm sorry. I don't know how long this video is so far, but we're almost done, I swear. I found this set of three nesting bowls at Goodwill. Um, I actually found this one first, or no, these two first, and then I went back another time and found this one, and I'm assuming they go together. Nope, they don't. This one's by Hallmark, um, so they're not nesting bowls. These two are, but this one still fits in there nicely, so I thought they would look good, maybe like raised up and stacked like this, or I'll put this one in my tiered tray. It was 79 cents. And it goes along with the gingerbread and bakery themes, like peppermint, candy cane swirl thing. And then these, this one also has that like peppermint candy cane thing. This one was 69 cents. That's a really good price for something like this. And then there's this bigger one for 99 cents. And it has peppermints all over it. So I paid about $2 for all three of those pieces. And like I said, I'm probably gonna stick something in here and display them like this on my kitchen shelving. We'll see. Now I have a stack of books to share with you. I've been trying to find some like red and neutral colored ones for my decor, um, but I did find this one and I thought it would be like Christmas theme because it says the beautiful life of Jesus and the lives of the apostles. So I thought that was really, really pretty. And I'll probably try to set this up and display it somewhere for Christmas time. I honestly don't remember how much I paid for this, but the place I got it from, their books are usually $2. And then I got these two at Goodwill. I just really liked this red color. I thought it was pretty. And then I liked this like brownish color with the red peeking through. And these were both $1.99 a piece unless one of the colors were on sale. And then these are the last two books. I thought they were really beautiful with the gold. I am going to be mixing in some brass decor in the living room. So I thought this would look nice in there. These were $2 a piece, yes. These were $2 a piece as well. All right, these last two items are some of my favorite things that I've found. The first one being this ginormous throw blanket. It's like a knitted, crocheted type throw blanket. And I can't even show you because it's so big. And then it has these little like burgundy-ish red stripes, or stripes, they're just like, I don't know, red details. <laughs> and then there's actually an S there's an S actually monogrammed on it somewhere, and that's fine because my maiden name starts with an S, so I figured that would be okay. I have washed it since then, but then it has these like little puffy knitted parts. It's just a really nice blanket. It's clean. Um, I don't see any stains, or I didn't see any stains. There's the S right there. So yeah, I'm excited to put this out on the couch for the Christmas season. And then the last thing for this entire haul is this lumbar pillow. Now this, I feel like I'm going to have a hard time styling this with everything else because this is almost like a burnt orangish red. It looks more orange on camera, but in person it's like a really deep burnt red color, but I couldn't leave it behind. I think it's so pretty. It's nice and long. And then I love the ruffled ribbon around the edge. I got this at a thrift store for $3.50, so that's a really good deal. And I'm gonna try to incorporate it somewhere. If not, maybe for fall next year. Okay, I think that's everything. Was that long? It feels like it was really long. You guys, I can't wait to start decorating and using all this stuff in my house for Christmas. I plan to have my decorating series up starting next week, if everything goes as planned. So if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe if you're interested in Christmas decor and decorating videos, or just my basic farmhouse, vintage thrift hauls and stuff like that. I also do Dollar Tree DIYs and thrift flips. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite Christmas song is. Okay, top three, because I can't do that to you. Um, for me, I think my favorite number one Christmas song is just your classic White Christmas by Bing Crosby, the one and only. Number two was probably um, Jesus, What a Wonderful Child by Mariah Carey. That whole album is just like my life. And then number three is Melakaliki Maka by Bing Crosby as well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!